So um, we talked about this little guy who you saw as a patient that had presented with some pretty serious neurologic problems in the aftermath of a vaccination. And uh, you talked a little bit about these patients potentially not receiving vaccines again in the future. Can you just elaborate on that a little bit more? Are we talking about do we not vaccinate with any vaccines or just lepto vaccines? Yeah, I think it depends on the case. So we have a dog or cat, but I mean, it's usually going to be dogs that have had a significant like immune mediated disease in close association with any vaccine. I typically recommend no vaccines. You will usually recommend titers just because the risk of having relapse being vaccinated again is a lot higher than the diseases that we're vaccinating for the majority of the time. So we just kind of go over those risks with owners. Uh, but I can't tell you how many cases that we've had that uh, we have them in remission and then they just go and get a routine vaccine and then they relapse again. So um, it's hard. It's very, all that is stuff is very anecdotal, which is the big problem. So I think in general, most neurologists recommend not vaccinating at all. Um, that's one of the reasons we actually have a two-year prospective study that we're about to get our final cases at August 31st, 2023 is going to be the end of our um, collection period. And so we should hopefully be able to say a lot more definitively whether there's association between vaccines and immune neurological diseases. 